Give me food. I'm hungry. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Rawr. Hello, hello. Welcome back to our beginner friendly tutorial series. Today we're going to be focusing on how to rig the mouth. We're going to focus on multiple forms for our mouth. And today's video we split into different sections. We will discuss mouth parameters. We will organize our mouth warps. We will talk about our meshes, including copy and pasting our meshes. We'll also go over our editing levels and in terms of the actual rigging for the mouth forms and mouth open. We will begin with the lip lines, the lip skin. We will then move on to our lipstick and then we'll rig the inside of our mouth. At the end, we'll test our physics in our physics menu and we'll also test it in VTube Studio. Okay, let's begin. So to start off with, there are a lot of guides out there. There are a lot of VTuber model artists and they have a lot of guides to help you. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to put in their guide here, but I first began rigging by referencing Tripico's mouth guide. In case you want to copy my mouth parameters, I'll put up a guide here of my different mouth open and mouth form parameters. But there are a lot of simpler guides out there that would be useful to reference. For example, my mouth guide is a 5x5 five five example, whereas you can get a 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four guide that would be a lot simpler. Just do what you're comfortable with, I'm sure it would look good either way. And if you haven't already, please check out my previous videos as this video leads on from those ones. Okay, now for the juicy part, let's get started. Mouth parameters. So to begin with, we're just gonna open our mouth folder and have a look at our mouth parameters. I'm gonna be using the mouth open and mouth form for this video. You can ignore the rest for now. These are the default live 2 cubism mouth parameters so you won't need to change them. Later on in the series, I will be rigging in tongue out, cheek puff, mouth X. Those are able to be picked up with face tracking in iOS, so using your smartphone. But for now, let's just start on mouth open and mouth form, as these are what you need to start using your model. Organizing our mouth warp deformers. Now let's organize our warps. So far, I have put the entire mouth into a mouth warp deformer, which is the parent of these warps and these objects. I've also got a mouth closed warp, which includes the top lip, bottom lip, my lip shine, lip line, so that, that little line there. I've got the top lipstick, bottom lipstick, top lip skin and bottom lip skin. And in the mouth open, I've got everything that would be inside the mouth, like the teeth, fangs, tongue, mouth shadows, etc. Up here, I have also got a cheek puff, which I will be bringing in later on. Just to start with, I am going to select all my objects and I'm going to auto mesh them. I'm going to do a heavy deformation. So I'm just going to click this grid and make sure that our entire body is centered. That looks centered to me. What you can do if you realize that your model isn't centered, you can grab the entire body warp deformer and make sure that there are no keyframes or parameters that you're changing. And you can just scooch it over left or right to make sure that it's in the center. I'm gonna hide the grid now. Our mouth meshes. I am gonna grab my top lip and go manual mesh edit and I'm going to erase and now I'm going to select on this add point tool what we're going to learn now is how to mirror edit your mesh we're going to select on this mirror edit and vertical and we're going to start drawing our points when you get to the end let's start drawing dots in between the bottom points And now you can finish adding points to the top of your lip line. 
once you've connected it all and you've got these little blue lines here you can select auto connect and it will connect all those dots for you automatically now that we've done that we're going to select ok and i have a bottom lip that is the exact same as my top lip they're both the same so what i'm going to do i'm going to go back into the top lip i'm going to select on the manual mesh i'm going to grab the lasso tool select all these points go Control c go to your bottom lip erase and Control v and you've just copy and pasted your mesh from your previous lip and then go okay and now you have meshed both lips i'm going to move on to the lip shine just erase and draw around it okay oh <laughs> i don't need mirror edit for my lip shine so i'm just going to delete that and now i'm going to do a little manual mesh for this lip line I'm going to work on the bottom lip skin. So for the bottom lip skin and the top lip skin, what you want is uh, for the mesh to be very edited around your lip line, so your top lip and bottom lip line. This is because we're going to be warping the skin a lot around the lip line. The rest of it doesn't need to be too detailed though with the mesh because it's just a big block of colour and it's just going to hide things down here that peek through. So let's just get started. I'm going to make it quite detailed around here. And the rest of it doesn't have to be detailed. I like to add in one in the middle and maybe one closer here. If you zoom in, you can see that there is an awkward box here, so I'm just going to move this around, add in more points, just to condense down this area. Auto connect. I'm going to add one more point here. Auto connect. And now I'm going to press the check button. Now let's do the same for the top lip skin. And we're going to do the same thing. And I'm going to select OK. And now let's do our lipstick, if you have it. Let's mesh this. And go OK. And do the same for the other lipstick. lip lines. So let's add in our path deformers now. We're going to go to our top lip and we're going to go to edit level 3. So general edit and we're going to add some points. I'm just going to add one here, here and in the middle. And what this is going to do is you're just going to be able to generally edit the movement of it. And now let's go to edit level 2 and they'll disappear. And this is gonna be for more detailed editing. We're gonna add a path deformer here, here in the middle, and we're gonna add one on the bend. That's gonna allow for some more detailed editing. So now's a good time to bring up your mouth guide, and we're gonna start with mouth open. So we're gonna add some key forms. Let's start off with two. Zero is gonna be mouth closed, and one is gonna be mouth open. Let's drag it up to 1, and what we're going to do is we're going to start warping. Go to number 3, I'm going to drag it up. And change edit levels. You can press H to hide. You can also bring up a grid to help. And you can add an extra path deformer points. So let's go to our bottom lip 
and edit a deformer path. And now make sure to add your keyforms. And now you can make it look like it's opening. Add in more points. I know it looks really stupid, but that's just the basics. And it's a draft. We'll smooth it out soon. For our mouth forms, let's begin on that. I'm just going to hide the bottom lip. And I'm going to add three keyframes to the top lip. This is my standard lip at default zero. When it goes to one, it's going to look really happy. And when it goes to negative one, it's going to be very sad. So with mouth open zero selected, so close mouth, let's drag this up. We're going to make our lips look happy while the mouth is closed. So I like to just drag this out more and make sure to use your grid as a reference. I'm going to hide the lipstick as well. And then you can drag it down to negative one. And this is going to be sad. And now you can do the same with the bottom lip. I'm just doing this really roughly, <laughs> clearly. But um, I'll make it look a little bit better later on. Like with these lines. Now in terms of our mouth forms, uh, your guide might have a lot of different shapes for your mouth. We're just going to start off with the negative ones and the ones at the moment. So for mouth open one, we can adjust the mouth form negative one, your sad mouth and the positive one, our happy mouth form with our mouth open. And then after that we can fill in the in-between points that we'll be adding in. So we're going to just do our open happy mouth. I'm going to go to positive one for mouth form and zero for mouth open. I'm going to click on my top lip and I'm going to go control shift C and I'm going to make it open. I'm going to go control shift V and that just keeps the mouth closed shape that we have. And now I'm going to drag it up because I want to keep this cute shape for when I'm happy. So let's just rig in the bottom lip now. Remember to use your grid as a reference. I'm gonna hide that little line there. And I need to fix this little part here later on. I've never worked with this mouth shape before, but I'm kind of making it up as I go along. I think what I regret with my previous model is not having enough mouth movement. So this time I'm making my mouth very big, but it's entirely up to your personal preference and what kind of mouth forms you want. I'm gonna now do the sad mouth open. So once you are happy with these, so mouth form negative one, mouth open one, mouth form zero, mouth open one, mouth form one, mouth open one, and then the corresponding mouth closed keyforms, we can then move on to the other ones. So my guide has other keyforms on the mouth form parameter as well as on the mouth open. Let's select the top lip and bottom lip and we can go to mouth form. We can go to this box here which is edit keyforms manually and we can add one in at negative five and then select OK. If you select on it, we have created a keyform. This isn't the shape that I want. The shape that I want is completely different. So I'm just going to rig that in now for mouth closed and mouth open. Now let's go to mouth open.
and I'm gonna add in another keyform And now we're going to work on our mouth open keyforms. So I'm going to add a 0.25 and a 0.75 as well as a 0.5 then go OK. And let's start rigging. So I'm going to start with mouth form negative 1, mouth open 0.3 because we've already done the 0. So you can go control shift C, go to the right keyform. Control shift v and that's a good way to copy and paste over one keyform to another. So that is mouth form negative one, mouth open point three, and I'm now gonna go onto mouth open point five. And now I've roughly got form negative one, mouth open, 0.5 done. So I'm going to move on to 0.8. Okay, so mouth form negative one is completely rigged for the lip lines with mouth open. So I'm going to next work on mouth form negative 0.5 and work through these mouth open keyforms. Don't forget to save. Now let's move on to zero mouth form. And now onto mouth form 0.5. A few moments later. Okay, and now that we've got all of our forms done, let's just join them here and see how they look. Okay, so that looks good enough for me for now. So let's move on to the next step. Rigging our lip skin. So I've just unlinked them and we're going to start working on the lip skin. Before we do, remember to save. We don't want to lose our progress. So to get started, let's select our bottom lip skin, our top lip skin, our bottom lip and our top lip. And to make this easier to see, we're just gonna click this button here, which is solo. And you'll be able to see a bit better what you're rigging. It's H to unhide those layers. So we're gonna do the same as we did for the lip lines. And we're gonna start off with the first and last keyframes and then we'll do the in-between ones. So let's go down to mouth closed, so zero, add two keyframes to top lip skin and bottom lip skin, add a path deformer, and as your mouth opens you want these to follow and hug around the lip line. And you want to make sure that no skin is popping through. So you can see that it follows the lip line. And we'll do the same for the bottom lip now. The bottom lip skin. So you can see that it relatively follows the lip line. And now what we can do is just go into all of these keyforms. And do the same. So we're going to go to the middle one. Add a keyform. We'll select on our top lip and we'll make it hug. 
that looks pretty good. So let's move on to the bottom lip. So that looks a little bit better. Let's select our top lip skin and bottom lip skin and add in the 0.3 and 0.8 keyforms. And we'll do the same for these ones. I typically find that the rounder the mouth is, the more of these points you'll need just to get that finer detail of the curve. So don't be afraid to use more points along your path to form. And look at that, we've already got one of them done. Now we can work our way through these other mouth forms and do the same. So we'll grab our top lip skin and our bottom lip skin, go to our mouth form and we'll add three of these key forms. We'll keep this middle one the same and we'll drag down to negative one. And we'll just go through and we'll break the skin. And now do the in-betweens. That looks good enough to me and we can go back and change it later on when we've rigged the inside of the mouth so yeah now the skin moves along with the lip line i can see here that um my blush isn't over my lip skin so i'll fix that and i'll also make sure that my nose is on top of my lip skin too just so that it doesn't get covered by the skin Okay, moving on to the next section. Rigging our lipstick. Let's work on our lipstick. If you don't have lipstick, you can skip this part, but I do, so we're just gonna rig that in now. So let's start off with our bottom lipstick. I'm just gonna reveal that. So I'm gonna take my bottom lip skin, copy the ID, grab my bottom lipstick, my lip line, and my lip shine. I'm gonna just paste that in the clipping ID. You can see that our lipstick is now clipped to the bottom lip skin. It won't move yet because we'll need to rig it in. Where the lip becomes invisible here, I'm just going to adjust my lower lip skin. So now let's grab our bottom lipstick and link those. To make it a little bit easier, I'm just gonna grab that bottom lipstick, my lip line, which is like uh, this one here. Bottom lipstick, lip line, and my lip shine. I'm going to put it into its own warp deformer and just call that bottom lipstick. Oh, I cannot spell. Bottom lip. Hello? C? C? My C isn't working. Okay, bottom lip. <laughs> Create. Okay, so that is our new warp deformer. 
and I'm going to do the same thing that I did for everything else and I'm just going to pop it to each shape. Don't forget your keyforms. Right click, left click. Right click, left click, right click, left click. Okay. So we've got all of our keyforms in and let's start rigging. So once you've done your bottom lipstick, you can move on to your top lipstick. So we'll just do the same as we did before, let's grab the top lip skin, get the ID, copy it, and paste it as the clipping ID for the lipstick. And I'm just going to reveal my lipstick. Add the keyforms. And let's start rigging. Rigging the inside of our mouth. Now that we have the lipstick and the lip line all rigged in, we're gonna start working on the inside of the mouth. So I'm just gonna reveal the inside of my mouth. Mine looks like this, it's pretty funky. Uh, it needs to be underneath the rest of your mouth. So I'm just gonna reorganize my folders and drag it down. There we go. And I also have a cat tongue, <laughs> one that like sticks out, so I'm just going to hide that one for now. The mouth looks like this inside. And I'm going to make sure that I get the clipping ID for the background of the mouth. And I'm going to make sure that everything on top is clipped to that. I'll do everything but the cat tongue that sticks out. And now that we've done that, Let's organize our warp deformers. So I just want my back teeth and my tongue to be in the same warp. I want my bottom teeth and my bottom fangs to be in the same warp deformer. My top teeth and my top fangs. My mouth background. My mouth shadow my cat tongue. So I've just done that to have some organization. So if you're in the free version, you can directly deform these art layers. I've just grouped them together to make it a bit easier so we can move them together in their own sections. The inside of the mouth is personal preference, really. Uh, some people like the top teeth to stay still because uh, it's more close to real life, I guess. But I like to have the top teeth moving as it gives the mouth a little bit more visible movement. So yeah, it's just personal preference. You can also see that in some sections, uh, the teeth and in the inside of the mouth may pop through. So we can fix that pretty easily. I'm going to grab all of my warps. And I'm going to create some keyforms. Let's go here. Because everything is clipped to this part of the mouth, if you just drag it in like this, it will hide the area. You'll see that the lip line 
isn't smooth uh, because of the skin and we'll also fix that now that we are able to see the inside of the mouth. So I've just fixed up the lip line a little bit and now I'm going to go in and work on the inside of the mouth. So I've just filled in the mouth and now I'm going to start moving the teeth. Don't forget to save. One eternity later. Okay, so that's the inside of our mouth done. I'll probably keep on touching it up every now and then. Like there are some things that I'm not happy with. Uh, like the lip skin in some areas. And maybe the velocity of the teeth movement. But I'll just change that as I go along. But I'll just keep coming back to it and changing it. I'm pretty happy with it for now though. Uh, I'll be doing another tutorial on the tongue out, the cheek puff and the mouth eggs. I'll be doing that when I get a new iPhone for better tracking. Uh, but that'll be a whole new video on vBridger, so I'll do that later on. But for a standard mouth with vTube Studio, this is pretty much all you need. And it seems pretty daunting at first, but when you do one key format at a time, and you slowly work on it, it's not actually that bad. It's just a lot of repetitive work, but that's why I like the mouth because it gets you really used to the live 2D cubism tools because you have to do it over and over again. <laughs> Testing our mouth in our physics menu. Okay, let's test the physics out in our physics menu now. So let's go ahead to our modeling and let's open physics and blending settings. Are you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> Our mouth is moving. <laughs> Some things I'm going to have to change. But yeah, our mouth is working. Woo! <laughs> A VTube Studio test. So, here's a little test in VTube Studio. Uh, the settings that I have, I need to adjust. So it's not perfect. And my 
eye blinking. This is a bit crazy right now. But you can see that the mouth is moving. It's working. I'll have to adjust some things. Like how fast it's moving. <laughs> and my eyes are a bit crazy right now. But that's all VTube Studio settings that I can adjust. <laughs> we have... We have a working mouth. <laughs> and working eyes. And eyebrows so far. <laughs> Don't mind my crazy little face right now. We'll refine it soon. <laughs> okay, let's close VTube Studio. <laughs> I'm so happy it's working. Wee! Wee! <laughs> Rawr. So once again, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful. I know that the mouth that I made was a little bit more complicated. There are a lot of keyforms. If this is too complicated, you can do like a four... How many is this? You can do like a three by three or four by four kind of mouth. But uh, like I said before, my last model was a bit smaller and it didn't have as much detail. So I kind of wanted to challenge myself this time. So yeah, I added a bit more movement with this mouth, but it isn't necessary. You can make it a lot simpler and it will still look good. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Or if you have any tips and tricks, I would love to hear your advice so that we can grow our skills together because I am still learning. As always, grab yourself a coffee, put on something warm, eat some good food and take care. I hope you have a good day or evening. Bye. Peace.